Alright guys, what is going on? <laughs> Excuse the hair. Uh, today, today, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to run through a full day of eating with you guys. I'm really motivated to do so. I haven't done that yet and I know a lot of you guys wonder what I eat. You know, this series is about making gains, 70% uh, diet, 30% training. So I haven't even shown you fuck all of my diet and that's that's on me, man. I really should be doing that. I think full day of eating videos go well. I think people enjoy them as long as they're not too long. So today I'm going to try my best to bring you guys all of my meals, show you exactly how many, how many calories, how much protein, carbs and fats, etc. And by the end of the day, hopefully, we will be at 4,000 calories because that is the mark that I want to hit at the moment. So with that being said, I'm going to go and sort this shit out and then I'll be back downstairs for my first meal, which will most likely be a shake. So I'll see you then. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Hey. All the way up. All the way up. I'm all the way up. All right, guys. So the time is now 10.30, and I've got my first meal here. All I've done is had a coffee. Um, a coffee blunts my appetite, but I was, you know, pretty tired this morning, and I had a little bit of editing to do. So we've done that. Got 250 mils of egg whites, a cup of oats, one banana, probably two cups of milk, and a little bit of peanut butter. One thing I'm missing is berries, and I don't put frozen berries in my shakes anymore because I come to I came to realise that the the main reason why the volume just seemed so huge and I just could not get through these massive shakes is because of the berries, man. The berries literally like expand when they get fucking uh, blended up, and it was just making it so huge I just couldn't couldn't finish it. So. We've got the first meal here, and it's going to go down right now. So I'll see you guys at the next meal. Alright guys, back workout is done. Probably spent about 90 minutes in the gym. It was a big workout, lots of volume. We're looking for something quick and easy to eat on the go. And here we are at McDonald's. This is a meal I used multiple times over the past nine months of this bulk. And we're going to do it once again. Thanks, Hey, can I please get four hamburgers by themselves? Oh, five, sorry. Five hamburgers? Yeah. Anything else? Nope, that's all, thanks. And also, you can drive down, please. Sweet. five hamburgers, we're looking at 250 calories a piece, $10 for the meal, each one has about 25 grams of carbs, 12 grams of protein and 8 grams of fat, you do the maths, I'm going to scoff them all. Cool. Thank you. And yes, yes guys, I do realise there's quite a bit of fat in this post-workout meal and some of you, some of you uh, may even say that having fat in your post-workout meal with your carbs and protein will slow the absorption of protein down and you may miss out on some gains post-workout if you have too much fat in there. Well guys, um, I've got one thing and one thing only to say to that and that is um, I'm loving it. Alright guys, what is going on? We're back from the gym, back from McDonald's as you guys would have seen. Um, that was a bulking meal for me. It's easy, it's $10, it's 1,250 calories, it's real food, even though it's McDonald's. I mean, don't give me shit, guys. You know, it is real food. It's fucking, it's bread. It's not, it's not liquid. It's not pure sugar, you know. It's, it's not a bag of lollies. That's what I'm saying. So anyways, we've got two left. I've eaten three. Calorie count should be at around about... 1750 right now if my calculations are correct I forgot to mention this morning I did put two scoops of protein powder in my shake so with that being said you know post workout I'm probably not gonna have a shake although I, I will make up one to take to work later on and I'll show you exactly what I take so the way I see it I'll finish off these hamburgers um, and also I'll have another meal before I go to work at 7 o'clock and then I'll, I'll pack my bag full of food for the night so by the time I go to work, I want to be sitting at around about 3,000 calories for the day, and then it won't take me much to, to bump it up to that 4,000 mark once I get to work. So these are my two amino acid supplements. 
Um, today I chose to use this one as a pre-workout, so I had three scoops, which is, what is it? Three scoops is seven and a half grams of, of uh, amino acids, so we'll add that in, it's seven and a half grams of protein. And as well as that, I'm gonna be sipping on this throughout the day like I have been already. That's what I've got in here. I'll probably put about two scoops to every 1.5 to two liter bottle of water. Two scoops of this has 10 grams of BCAs. So with that in mind, I, I might get through four scoops in a day, which is 20 grams of BCAs, which is another 20 grams of protein. So I'm gonna add that in right now. And I'd say that'd be about it for now. I'm going to get onto a bit, little bit of editing and spend my afternoon in front of the computer, basically. So I'll see you guys at the next meal. Peace. All right, guys, here we are back again. Meal number three for the day. And we are going with something I prepared earlier. But what I like to do, guys, is I like to cook my meat, especially my meat, in bulk and then put it in the fridge or the freezer to then eat on the coming days. I mean, I, I'm like the rest of you guys. I don't like meal prepping. I, I, you know, sometimes I do enjoy it when I'm in a really good mood, but when you gotta do it day in, day out, week in, week out, it does get pretty mundane. So I like to do it in bulk. What we've got here is some turkey and beef mince mixed together. Um, that is, that's just my choice to do it like that. Uh, chicken and beef is good. Turkey and chicken is good. Steak. And, no, steak doesn't really go with anything. Um, either way, I'm going to use probably about 200 to 250 grams of this, which is going to give me a good serving of protein, probably about 50, 55 grams of protein. As well as that, we're going to go with a carb source of rice. Just a microwave packet of rice. This is how I cook my rice. I never cook it in the pot, although it does taste probably a little bit better. But regardless of that, we've got four servings here. I will eat probably about half of it, to be honest, and that will be 65 grams of carbs, four grams of fat, and seven grams of protein. So we've got 60 grams of carbs here, we've got about 60 grams of protein all up, and minimal fats. As well as that, we're gonna put some barbecue sauce on there. I'm not gonna eat a plain, that's for sure, so I'm gonna go Ronnie Coleman style, go barbecue sauce, and that's how we're gonna finish it off. So that is meal number three. The next time I see you guys, I will be packing my bag to go to night shift. Damn. Look, here's the meal. Like I said, one full packet of rice. We're gonna put half on there. Fuck, it's probably a bit much. There we go. As well as that, we're gonna put half of the meat mixture, which is probably about that much. And last but not least, we're gonna go with some barbecue sauce. So I put I the serving I use, let's see, let's see how much I want. I probably want about probably about that much, which is like 40, 50 grams. And that's it. That's it guys. Meal number three. Nothing special. In fact, the only thing that's missing is a massive helping of vegetables, and I'm quite I'm quite slack to be honest. I've got lots of veggies here. Mixed veggies. Um, it's just a matter of putting them on the plate, so maybe I will. Anyways, I'll see you guys later on. Alright guys, quick shout out. Ready to go to work now. Ready to pack my bag. And uh, get the hair out of the way. Alright, so here we go. By my calculations guys, at the moment we're sitting at probably about three and a half thousand calories and that is, that's quite a lot and I was thinking to myself before, you know, why, I'm really not feeling hungry, like I don't particularly want to eat right now and that's, that's why, it's because I had a massive shake this morning, I had those hamburgers which is 1250 calories just like that and you really, honestly, you don't, you don't realise it with those things and then I had that meal before. Um, which was about 800 calories. So overall we're sitting at like two, 230 protein, probably about 380 carbs. And with that being said, I think today is in total is probably gonna be about 5,000 calories. So we're gonna call it full day of eating, full day of bulking, 5,000 calories. And that's what we're gonna do. So I need 1,500 more calories, guys. I probably need, I wanna take my, my pro, like I am going to night shift, so 
It's not like I'm going to bed at 11 o'clock. I'm pretty much staying up the entire night. With that being said, we're going to make a shake and I'm going to take some bagels. I'm also going to take some amino acids to drink with my water. And that's pretty much going to be the basis of what we do. So first thing is going to be a shake. First thing we're going to put in it is egg whites. We go 250 mils of egg whites. Boom. We're going to go with two scoops of protein powder. And really guys, that will be enough protein for the day. I'm going to put a banana in there. So the way the macros are out at the moment, it's probably going to be about 5,000 calories for the day. I want to get 300 protein, probably be 600 carbs and 150 fat. We're going to have the shake. We're going to have bagels. And with the bagels, to keep it low fat, we're going to have honey. So uh, the shake needs some more liquid in there. So we're going to go with almond milk. And I'm probably going to put about a cup in there. And so, you know, I don't want this shake to be too heavy. I don't want to be too calorie dense. I've had the most of my calories already for the day. So we're going to stick it, we're going to leave it at that um, and make that up quickly. Got my little Anytime Fitness two litre uh, jug here. And this is what I'll, I'll usually use for my shakes in the morning or if I want to take anything to work and it makes it really easy and that's that so here we are we've got one shake we've got four bagels I doubt whether I'll eat them all each bagel has 50 grams of carbs 10 grams of protein and like five or six grams of fat so they're a fantastic snack for bulking and with that we're going to put honey like I said before so that's it guys this is this is the grocery haul for the night shift put it all in there as well as I'm going to take that as well for throughout the night for my water and in the morning before I leave I'm going to have some of this to put me out once again so that is what we're taking and I guess that's it guys I will see you in 12 hours time when I finish night shift tomorrow morning alright guys what is going on we're back we're back from night shifts it's um, it's probably about 12 <coughs> it's 12 30 at the moment actually and I had fuck all sleep last night I'll tell you that much but we did get through all of the meals that I took which was only two if you guys remember I took a, a shake which we downed at about nine o'clock I do believe and then after that I ate the bagels I ate two at about 11.30 at night and then I ate the other two at about three o'clock in the morning so that is how I structured it yesterday I hope you guys enjoyed the video I didn't I didn't really have too many exciting foods you know yeah I put McDonald's in there but I didn't have you know muesli bars or I didn't have chocolates or muffins or anything really nice you know I stuck to the basics I had two shakes um, an easy carb source in the bagels I had an easy carb source in the rice rice with uh, just some minced meat and sauce and um, and you know like I said previously usually I would be eating more vegetables I feel like you know I've had a couple of bananas today it wasn't too bad that is certainly not enough fiber in my diet for what I you know for 5,000 calories I mean Personally, I reckon for each thousand calories that you're eating in food volume, I reckon you should probably have at least 10 grams of fiber in your diet. So if I'm having four 4,000 calories a day, I want 40 grams of fiber. And I did not get 40 grams of fiber today. So uh, that is going to be something I focus on going forward. I don't know if I need a fiber supplement or I just need to make sure I have my veggies. But either way, we're going to work on it. This was a full day of eating, full day of bulking. And uh, that's, that's how I do it guys, it's, it's on the go. I don't do a huge amount of meal prep in advance apart from the meat, like I said. And yeah, that's it. So watch out for the next full day of eating. So guys, this is where I'm gonna leave you. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I hope you enjoyed the full day of eating. I'll bring you guys another one when I'm ready. 
it does take a little bit of time out of your day making these kind of videos so I'm, I'm glad I did show you everything I ate you know I start I start these full days of eatings very often and I get I do like a little intro clip and I get to my first meal I might make a clip about that and then after that I really honestly can't be fucked either because I'm not really that hungry and I'm just forcing the food down or you know my mood changes throughout the day and it's it's hard to stay up throughout the entire day to make a vlog you know usually when I make a vlog it's probably done in a couple hours tops everything that I have to do on that particular day for the vlog so uh, yeah hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one peace when I, when I pull up on a hater watch a hater fall back I'm too good with these hands, watch a hater fall flat If I die, all I know, I'm a motherfucking legend It's so great for my city, I'm the realest one that's reppin' Oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always reppin' Oh my God, my whole life my words been my greatest weapon I know I, I know I Been the coast's greatest blessing